He was my best friend. He was my lover. My companion. My soulmate. He was everything to me. If I have my way, we will be together for eternity. But there's a saying that eternity is too long. What would I do? Because only God in heaven understands. Him alone gives and Him alone takes. We are only mortals. And mortals we are, we cannot do anything. But we know that Chief Badmos is the left legacy. And it will never depart from our heart. Um, well, Chief Rezudo is not only a client to me, but a very good friend of mine. But it's a pity that death is still I, 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 I don't understand why I start. I don't understand. Do you have to repeat exactly the same thing I said? What are you, what, what are you trying to what are you trying to make out of this? I say something and you're virtually repeating everything I said. Please, can you tell us the reason why we are here and the content of the will? Please. Mom, what was that for? I mean, if you should ask me to say the truth, what you just said right now is totally out of line. Kimberly, I can see my father's fed your wings with so much ego to make you comfortably reprimand my mother in public eyes. <laughs> public eyes? This is not public. I mean, Barrister Donald's here is not just anyone. Not just a legal aid to our late father, but also a family friend. So whatever I say in front of him is not public. And what mom said was actually not right. He only showed that she doesn't have respect for him and she's only interested in her father's property. Really? So it has gotten to the point where you involved yourself in a verbal combat with me? The only reason I have not stretched my finger to dock out that tongue in that gutter you call a mouth is because I'm in a good mood today. I don't have time for you. When I'm ready for you, I'll put you in your place. So, Barrister, can you tell us the full content of my late husband's will? Well, um... Yes. As you all can see, this is the will. It's saved and not unpacked. So, now I read. By the time this will will be read, I must have been dead by then. To my loving wife and beautiful children, I wasn't entirely honest and truthful to you all. When I was diagnosed with prostate cancer and was told I had few months to live, I was devastated and depressed. I loved my family so much that I didn't want you all to bother or worry yourselves about me. So I covered up my sickness, even when I was dying slowly. And signs discovered by my family, especially Kimberly, who was always worried about my health and well-being. I lied that it was just slight fever. I am so sorry that you all discovered it this way. And I pray you all find a place in your hearts to forgive me because... My heart was in a good place while hiding it. I didn't do it to hurt anyone. I didn't want you all to feel all the pains I felt. Here are the list of my net worth and assets. I am worth over 200 million naira with assets scattered around the country, which includes the estate in Banana Island, Lagos, Transport company in Kuba, Abuja, 27 plots of land in Delta State, Asaba, and 48 plots in Omnisha, Nambra State, 
including my properties and so many other properties stated in the footer of this will. Please, you all should take care of my properties wisely. Don't fight over it and make sure you all make the best out of it so it can multiply progressively. Well, Barrister, I have heard everything and will make sure everything will progress and the way my husband said it. So, when will my daughter and I get what my husband left us? Um, well, that is not all. What are you saying? What do you mean? The money and asset can only be willed to the family which includes Kimberly after three months of my demise so that you all can learn to live on detail. So when the money and assets comes, you all will value it. Signed, just faithful. Chief, bad news is you. What nonsense are you talking about? What nonsense are you spitting from your mouth? Mom, it's very obvious this, this will was doctored. Like I'm very sure this will was tampered with because my dad can never allow his family to suffer. Obviously he cannot. Uh, just read the content of the way from Chief Ezudo, your late husband. And we see this six months. Thank you so much, Barrister. God right. bless you, sir. Thank you, my daughter. Bye. What exactly are you thinking of? What? Stop there! What were you thinking of? Did he pluck cassava for you or rice or plantain or yam? Which of them did he give you? You had the temerity to sit here and talk back at me. Well, I told you I was in a good mood because the next time you try that, I will make sure I devour you into pieces. Now get out of my sight! Get out! Yeah. Idiot! I don't blame you. I blame Ezudo for everything. I blame him for, for bringing this idiot and making her sit on the same couch with me. I don't blame you. Six whole months. Six whole months with nothing. Six whole months eating from the cross. And he had the nerve to mention you in his will. Even if that would be my funeral, it would not happen in this house. You six useless people. Collins, Collins, what's the problem now? What's the problem? Brother, I'm surprised you're asking me this question. Because we have been cleaning this house since morning and it looks like we haven't even laid a finger on it. Everywhere is dusty. I can't even breathe, brother. I, I'm tired, bro. Collins, you're not supposed to talk like this. Nobody have lived in this house for the past years. Of course, it's expected it to be dusty. Listen, Collins. The work in this house is too much for leave me and Mama. You better come, let's go and finish it. Yeah, I'm there. I'm not, I'm not going to join you. Guys. You will do it, though. I'm there. What is going on here? Mama. Yeah. Oh, give me. What Mama, imagine. You? Colin said he's tired and you will discontinue working with us. And <laughs> that work is too much for leave me. Colin says it true. Yes, Mama. I'm very, very tired. Everywhere is dusty. I'm choking. And also, I'm very, very hungry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I understand you. My dear, you are supposed to be tired, coupled with your health condition. In fact, we are wrong. We are not supposed to allow you to, to, to stress out. But my dear, at this point, there's nothing we can do. We, 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 in fact, we have no choice. We, we need roof over our heads. Yeah? This is my late father's house, and nobody has lived here for past years. 
So it's supposed to be trusting. Hmm? Okay, I promise you. Just a little moment. Okay, Mama. Mama is still miss our old house. I wish we were still there. Are we still talking about that old house? That is past days now. Eh? See, she bad more says Zudo was the one paying our house rent there. But at some point he stopped. And when our house rent was due and we couldn't afford to pay, the landlord threw us out of the house. So that's why we came back to the village. To the village. Hmm? I am sure that it was his wife that instigated him to stop. Exactly. Yes. Well, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was the time he was ill or he couldn't remember. I don't know. But my only happiness now is that they're still taking care of my daughter, your sister, Kambeli. Yes. That's a very huge load off my shoulder. So I'm happy. Frederick. Mm -hmm. Can we please go inside and continue working without uh, Collins? No, Mama, the work is just too much for me. I can't do it all alone. Frederick, you are a grown-up. Eh? Yes, stop measuring yourself with this little boy. Please. And you know his health condition. Please, I'm okay. Be good. Okay, let's do it this way. When I finish cleaning the toilet, I will come and join you for the rest of the class. Oh? Thank you. You're a man, you can handle the work. Listen. Mama, I'll tell my man you're beating a last bond. Which last bond? Old man like you. You're a man. You're your man. Handle the work. Ah, my back. It's time for me to rest. Ah. She just apologized. What did you just say? This idiot almost made me break my leg. And you have to reprimand her for, for, for slapping a slave? Mom, she's not a slave. She's an aide meant to assist. So please, don't match with her. First off, I am not your mom. And second of all, I need to know who your audacity plug is. Because I must well patronize him for delivering such audacity and effrontery to you. Are you insane? Madam, no verse. No verse, I beg. I will forget the target that Simika will carry out. Now I take drop this thing for you. No verse. Shut up, you fool. Mother, this girl doesn't know how to do her job. I've been telling you, but you wouldn't listen. Go in there. Pack your rags and leave my house. Madam, no verse. Madam, no verse, I beg. Now this salary will be paid. Now did they buy drugs for my mama? Madam, no verse. Madam, no verse. I don't go do one again. It don't go happen again. Never to never. It don't go happen again. Madam, I beg no face. Madam, I beg no face. And the salary we do not see the figure. Madam, I just I beg no face. Now mistake. It don't go happen again. I swear to God, it don't go ever happen again, Madam. I beg no face. Mom, you're already here, Nana. She she has mother that she needs to take care of. Remember that I told you not to call me mommy again. I am not your silly mother. Of course, I remember. I remember you were once a maid before you skinned your dirty self into my husband's heart. <laughs> Lorraine. Yes, Mo. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, I'm thinking. You know, a pig is always a pig, no matter how you bait and disinfect them. They will always go back to the dump. Now, you will go back to the way you were before you were employed into this house. Mm -hmm. A low life maid. 
and a pig at that. Failure to do that, you will leave my house before dusk. Do you understand that? Do you understand me? Now get out of my sight. <laughs> what are you doing in my house, Oliza? Um, <clears throat> if someone had met me and told me that um, you of all people hmm, will return back to this village in your father's compound with your children, I would have called that person the greatest liar of the century. You have still not answered my question. Why are you here? Okay, um, I am also here to mourn with you on the death of your money-making machine. Chief Badmos is Udo. <laughs> now that, that your money well has dried up, have you not returned back to your, to your trenches where you belong? Huh? Let me understand you. Does it mean that you came all the way from the city to my father's house to mock me? I am not here to mock you, but to state the facts. Listen, ma'am. Assume you allow me to marry your niece. Mm? By now, you'll be enjoying the wealth that I'm enjoying. Yes, the wealth of my husband. And so what? After all, my brother's money is my money. Only Satyo, now you don't have any single shame on you. No single shame! You are so thoughtless, you are so shameless. You are talking about my niece that has long gotten married, have children in her husband's house. Only say you are the reason my children and I are suffering, passing through pain today. You are. My husband died and you connived with your casemen and took away everything that belongs to us. Leaving my children and I with nothing. You took away all that and moved to the city. You used my husband's money, wealth, everything to be doing good, a big man. Up here, I should enjoy. <clears throat> According to tradition, after the death of your husband, the only surviving brother takes over everything. Yes, according to tradition. Yes. And that's if my husband didn't have any son. Ah? And where is the son? And where is the son? Uh-huh. You call that one son? Eh? That one is not, that's not even man enough. You call that one son? Okay, look at the other one. Epile. You call that one son? Eh? <laughs> Come on, mama. <laughs> Please, don't worry. I, I, I will give you food. Don't worry. Don't worry. Please, get out of my compound. Can you buy me food? Just look at. You can't even take care of this epile. Mama, I'm young, young, young. You call this one son, epile. Eh? Get out! Ah! 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 My ah! Collins! 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 Look at you. Collins! 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 Look at what
Mama, I don't understand. What exactly happened? I thought you suggested that he discontinue working with us. What exactly triggered his, his attack? It was when I, 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 I came out here to sweep the compound. And before you know it, uh, Ulisa walked in. That's when the thing started. Ulisa? Who is Ulisa? How many Ulisa do you know? Huh? Your, 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 your late uh, father's brother. Uncle Ulisa came here. And you didn't tell him that he was not welcomed in this house? My son. He came here and ran unimaginable insults on me. Uh, 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 saying uh, 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 that uh, we, we, we have finally left the city down to the village. He was mocking at us. So. I must put an end to this nonsense. Hey, where do you think you are going? Mama, I want to do something to him that whenever he remembers stepping his foot in this compound, he will tremble. What is this now? Do you know what? The man you are talking about is smarter than you. What you want to do now is exactly what he wants from you. Yes, he want to push us and push us that you in particular or we will retaliate so that he can pin something on you or anybody in this family for us to be banished out of this village. You don't know him. Ah, I know him too well. So please, please and please don't dance to the ugly drum he's playing. Pico, don't. All right, Mama. Mama, I've been meaning to ask, who exactly did Collins inherit epilepsy from? From your father's side. I mean, your great-grandfather from your father's side had an epilepsy. I think that's where he inherited it from. But I don't know why me. Why should it be me, my own son? Eh? Why? That's fine. It's okay. Uh, let me go and cook for him, please. All right. Let me fetch with The water in the drum is exhausted. It's okay. Hello, Instagram family. This is your favorite Insta buddy, and you all meet my new maid. Hey, say hello to the camera. <laughs> Don't mind her, she's a very shy type, and that's why she's not smiling. I thought she's your sister. <laughs> no, 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 she's not my sister. She's just our maid. You know, we actually treat people nice here, and that's why you guys think she's my sister. You actually treat people nice. You just gained a new follower. Mwah! Thank you for following. I love you so much. You know, you have to treat people very nice, okay? Especially treat people how you want to be treated. You know what, guys? I'll end the live now. I'll join you guys later. Let me help out with the mobbing. <laughs> Bye. And you, why were you not smiling in my live video? Do you want people to think that we are maltreating you? 
You know, courtesy demands that before you carry your camera or anything to somebody's face, you ask for permission, right? <laughs> Please, don't get it twisted. You're just my maid. This should be the very first and last time you will do this rubbish again. And if I do it, what would happen? You want to know what will happen? If you allow me to use this mop stick on your head. Oh boy. Hmm? What? Mom! Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! Mom! I didn't do anything to her. And she threatened to use the mop stick on me. <laughs> Why are you lying like that? That's not true. She was stepping away, I swear. Can't you? Will you shut up? Are you crazy? Why would you try to make my daughter uncomfortable in her own house? Why would you try to do that? It's not true. Mom, I'm not lying. She's... I know. I, I, don't, don't stress yourself, baby. Lie down. Ma? Do you have a problem? Mace are cute. I used a smock to mop the floor by the masters. What are you You will remain here until I ask you to leave. Now, don't try to stand up because you know I will see everything you do. Remember, there are cameras everywhere in the house. Cheat. Can you imagine? <laughs> Momo, does this kind of love see exist in real life? Of course it does. This is exactly the kind of love that existed between your father and I. <laughs> Please, say that to someone who doesn't know you. Everyone in this house knows that you are my late father's worst nightmare. Who is demanding money for lottery things? What is life without money? How many times should I tell you not to call me mommy? Is it until I cut your tongue with the razor blade that you stop calling me mother? What is it? I, I want to go back home. My mother called me and told me that my brother had a, an attack yet again. And since the death of my father, I've not gone there to see them. Besides, since they went back to the village, I've not seen them to know how they're feeling or anything. Oh, that's so sad. Don't worry, I'll wire some money to you so you can take care of the bills, okay? Lauren? Call back me. So, your family has moved out of the house my late husband rented for them. Yes, ma'am. They couldn't pay the bills, so they, they left. <laughs> that is not my business. That is their own cup of coffee and slice of bread. You can go there and stay for a year, two years, five years, I don't care. But if you don't come back here before evening, consider yourself not living in this house anymore. Ah, thank you so much, Mom. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Ma. Get, you out. Get out! Get your stinking self out! Mom, Mom, why did you let her go? I cannot stand to breathe in the same air as this girl. So I find any space just to, just to let her go. I, I, she annoys my soul. Then send her out. How can you say that? We don't know the full content of the will yet. This girl is my rival. I need to keep her close. Well, mom, so am I not as wise as you are? I'm sorry. <laughs> mom, look. They're actually kissing. I, I don't 
you so that I don't understand anything. You are stressed out. I mean, you don't look yourself. I'm stressed out? Yes, I could be eating. Ah, Mama. You know, I'm too fat. I'm just trying to watch my weight. I'm on diet. Even at that, you don't look strong to my liking. Is anything bothering you? Mama is right. In as much as you are watching your weight, this Kimbele sitting right in front of me is not the Kimbele I used to know. Uh -huh. What exactly changed? Nothing changed. In fact, then, less of me and more of you guys. How have you been doing? Kimberly? I'm fine. Sister, mm, that's a good boy. Uh -huh. Look, let me try to change this topic. Please, I will not ask you this again. Tell me exactly what is bothering you. Are you all right? I'm not fine, Mama. You said it. Ever since the death of my foster dad, I can't just get over his death. I miss him so much. Everything is not the same anymore. Have Claudia and uh, her daughter been maltreating you? No, 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 not at all, Mama. It's it's just that I miss my foster dad. I can't eat, I can't sleep. I, I see him everywhere. Listen, I know you love late Uncle Badness so much. And he loves you as well. That's why he went to the extent of adopting you as his daughter. But you cannot kill yourself because of his departure. Listen, you need to calm down. Everything will be fine. Hmm? Yes, sister. Brother is right. Don't kill yourself <laughs> because of me. Everything will be fine, okay? Exactly. Thank you. Your brother has said it all. Kimberly, we are your family. If you need any moral support, note it that we are always here for you. <laughs> yes, Mama. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. I love you all. We love, love you, you more. Love you. <laughs> so, how have you been doing? I love you too, sister. Maji. <laughs> So you won't give it to me. Uh, come, 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 come. Mama, I'm hungry. Hi. You want to hug me? Uh -huh. I miss you so much. Why are you guys making me shy? What's this? Uh, brother, you're a man. This old man. No, no, brother, you're, you're not a man. You don't need all this thing. Eh? <laughs> She's my sister. Leave me alone. Mama, I'm hungry. Is there anything? There's food inside. Mama, she loves food too much. Don't worry, I'll give you all the food for her. Uh, uh, Alright, let me go and get it. Mama, should I? I can't get it. Put my meat for her too. <laughs> and yours. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've nice. been a good boy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I told you I was going to the village to visit my mother and my siblings, and you approved of that. That did not answer my question. I said, what are you putting on, you destitute? Ma, I was going to the village to see my mother and my brother. I couldn't put on my maid's outfit. I, I had to change before going. Henceforth, wherever you're going, to trash anything, to the mall, to the market, anywhere, you must put on your maid uniform. Do you understand me? People need to start seeing who you are. They need to address you and see you like a maid that you are. Looking at this dress, I can remember vividly the day my late husband bought it for you. Now go into your room. Pack all the clothes that my late husband bought for you. Take it to my daughter's room. It belongs to her now. Get, get, get out! Shoot. I've 
rest like that in my house. Fool. You were lucky I didn't get hold of this cup, I'd have smashed it on your head. Something to tell you, and I, you're crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Mama, but you are. Mama, I, I feel by now you would have gotten used to the ills happening around you, but it still saddens me that that up till now we still pierce through your heart like a sword. Okay, I'm having this premonition. Okay, premonition about what exactly? My daughter's happiness is not in good place. But, uh, Mama, you mean Kimberly? But the last time she came, she said she's still coming in terms with the fact that late Uncle Badmos is dead. And I strongly think that is where all this problem is coming from. So you don't need to you don't need to have any premonition. I think I think that's the reason why she's sad, that's all. That was what she said the previous day she came here. She's my daughter. I took her in my womb for nine months. I feel her sadness and joyful moment. Likewise, you and your brother. I know what I'm saying. I know. All right, Mama. To clear your premonition, first thing tomorrow morning, I will go to the city and give her a surprise visit so I can see for myself what the problem is. Is that okay? So, Mama, you need to snap out of this mood. Mama, give me a smile, please. Hello, Kimberly. Kimberly, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm actually on my way to your house. I just, I just stopped by to, to buy pure water. I'm very, very thirsty. Yeah. So, uh, why, why is your voice shaking? Nothing. It's, it's just that I've been trekking and I'm, I'm kind of tired. Uh, you've been trekking? Trekking to where exactly? Mom and her daughter took me to a tourist site somewhere in Dubai and we have been walking around seeing beautiful places that's why I'm so tired so brother. you're trying to tell me that currently you are not in Nigeria you're not home you're in Dubai yeah yeah why are you still using the same Nigerian number that's because they um they configured it you won't understand you haven't traveled before I'm glad that you're fine yeah I'm fine we just wanted to get our mind off that that that's why we took some time off, right? To think that I was even on my way to your house. I wanted to give you a surprise visit. No problem, I'll just go back home and tell Mama that you traveled. So sorry about that. Just say me hi to Mama. I need to go now. Tell Mama I love her and keep her as well. How is she? Mama, I've been telling you this thing. You need to calm down. If not, you'll give yourself a heart attack. I said, how is my daughter? Is she okay? Mama, I didn't go there again. What? But you were the one that suggested you pay her a surprise to be visit. And you left. Yes, I know I suggested that, but on my way going, she called me on phone and told me that her, Claudia and Lauren, went to Dubai to a resort on a vacation. You know, they just wanted to clear their head based on Chief Badmos' demise. She told you that? Yes, yeah, she told me that. Why do I find it hard to believe? Mama, please. 
Mama, you need to stop creating storm where there is quiet. She's in a good place. As I told you, they went for a vacation. They were even having fun over the phone. She sounded all right to me. Mama, you don't need to bother yourself about her. She's fine. Hmm. No problem. I don't blame anybody. I blame the situation around me. If things had been okay with us, I know my child can't live with anybody. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. I wouldn't have allowed my daughter to go and live with somebody. I understand. That's true. Mama, everything will be fine one day. I believe God. Mama, where is Collins? Ebuka, his friend, uh, came over and two of them uh, went out. All right, Mama. Mama, I'm so tired. I need to go into the house and rest. Mama, please. You need to go in and rest. You've been sitting down here. <sighs> So tired. Mother. Kimberly. Why are you lying down on my couch? Oh, you can go. Sit up. No. Sit up! Who told you you can sleep on my couch and in my house by this time of the day? I, I was not sleeping. I was feeling cold because of the water you poured me yesterday. No, 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 no. I thought the cold would have fetch you from speaking, yet you're still warning your mouth. Why would I pour water on you? Why wouldn't I? The same clothes I asked you to keep in my daughter's room. You took it to the backyard to wash. Meaning that everything I said was a waste because you wanted to wash it and still wash it thereafter, right? No, ma. No, ma, what? Stand up. Mm. Stand up! I think I am spoiling you too much in this house. I am spoiling you too much. Now go out there. Mop my compound thoroughly. I want to see myself through it. Get out. Mop? I, I thought they were supposed to sweep the compound, not, not mop. Madam, I beg. Get out! Hey, Leave! Oh, madam, sorry. Hey. Oh, gosh. Jesus. Baby, stop, stop talking to you. Try and drink water or something. It's okay. Kimberly. Hmm? Are you still videoing? Ah, you asked me to, to, to record. Of course, you are still lying. Are you stupid? Don't you know where to end the life? Will you ask me to video now? Oh. Did you just tell me to end your life. I know you don't have common sense. Now, get out. So? You have just been pretending. You don't treat you. Mom! Oh my god! What's it? I'm beginning to lose fans. See, see what she has caused. I told you not to always go live when it's not necessary, but you're not here. Now, this is what you get when you have reached as domestic steps. <laughs> oh my. 
Frederick, you have been the positive and optimistic one. Telling me not to be worried in any situation. So why are you the one worried now? Mama, we can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. It's obvious nobody will come for us. So we need to help ourselves. We need to start something. Something like what? Anything we want to start, we need capital. Mama, I have money. Huh? Where did you get money from? Mama, please, don't look at me that way. I didn't steal it. You trained me better than that. Just I have been, I've been saving some money from the money leads Uncle Badmos have been sending us. So at least we can start from there. Use the money and do something. Just start anything. Hi. That's very thoughtful of you, my son. Thank you, Mama. You are a good child. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. So I was actually thinking of maybe starting bottle water business and soft drinks. It's good. It's okay. Yes. I've also talked to Collins and he said it's actually a nice decision. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mama. That's good. Hello, Collins. Collins, where are you? Brother, must you call me every minute? Yes, I must call you every minute. Look, if it was to be my way, I wouldn't have allowed you to leave my side. But you were, you were insisting that we part ways so we can reach uh, more customers. Eh? Where are you? Where exactly are you now? Yes, because if we didn't, we wouldn't sell and we would have gone back home with all our goods. I understand. But tell me where you are now. Where are you? I'm in the studio taking pictures. Listen, Collins. Collins is not funny. Where are you? I want to know where you are presently. I'm on the road. Okay, don't worry. I'm fine. The customer wants to buy something. Bye. All right, no problem. Look, please, don't go too far, yeah? Take care of yourself for me, oh? All right, I'll keep calling you. Just keep your phone close by. Buy your water, buy your soft drink. Your brother, your brother. What happened your to brother my brother? Says, he was selling water along the road. He saw that he fell down on the floor. And something white is just coming out from his mouth. Oh my God, take me to my brother. No! Precious, precious, please. I beg you. 
My brother is, is lying almost lifeless at the end of the junction. Please, please, we need you to take me to him. What happened to him now? What do you mean, what happened to him? Don't you know my brother's illness? He just slowed this at the end of the junction. He's lying almost lifeless. We need to take him to the pharmacy, please, I beg you. I will she take him to the pharmacy and it's not with you. I was looking for a tricycle. I didn't want to waste time now. Uh -huh. Precious, please. What's wrong with your keke? Hey, you can wait up, so before you go start, What did you do your keke now? Nah. We go push her first, so. I want to push her. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Lisa, welcome. Uh, uh, I've been waiting for you. I, I, I've been knocking at the door at the gate, but there was no response. Oh, the grandma. Uh, yeah? Because you that asked me out the last time I came to your house is now coming to my own place. Huh? Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the thing is that I, I need your help. I need your help. Uh, my son had an epileptic attack again. <laughs> Bikolo, please, I, I want you to help me out. Uh, let, let, let me ask you something. Yeah? Do I look like a doctor that treats epilepsy people? No, uh, 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 all I need is uh, financial help. Mm. I, I, I want you to assist me financially mm. to, 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 to buy, buy his medication. Mm. Please, uh, see, Olisa, mm. I am broke. Oh. Sorry. I don't have money with me anymore. Oh. Please help me out. Doctor, allow my son to die. Hmm. Be good. Uh, uh, ma, the, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, uh, I, I don't have money now. Hey, I am also broke. Hey, uh, just imagine now. Uh, uh, have you forgotten the way you treated me the last time? Hey? You downgraded me. You look at me from head to toe that nothing good will come out from, come out from me. But look at me now. Hey? Just look at me. Hey? Hey, but I don't have money. You are my husband's brother. Uh, nah. You are my husband. You can just not just leave me and my children like this. Madam, I don't have money. Yeah? Yeah? Madam, put that put that on the Put that on the If not that you took us to the pharmacy on time, only God, only God knows what would have happened. May the heavens forbid. Nothing will happen to Collins, your brother. See, let me tell you, stress is one thing that triggers epilepsy attack. And you know this. Yet you will allow him to be hawking with you. But it's not fair now. And um, what about Mama? How is she? Mama is broken. Mama is shattered. Precious, I'm tired. I am tired of always watching my brothers don't get a bomb ready to detonate. I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of sweeping so much pain under my feet. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine when? Everything was fine and now we have slided back to square one. Is it too much to ask God? Is it too much? To be born in a wealthy family. Even if it's not that wealthy, at least. A moderate family where I can comfortably go to a school of my choice, eat what I want. Life is meant to be enjoyed and not endured. Sometimes I even question God for bringing me into this kind of family of suffering and pain. Stop saying eating like that. See, let me tell you, your family have little now. But you got good name. Mm. You got reputation. Don't misunderstand me. I love my family, but I hate the situation we find ourselves. See, Frederick. You have to find a lasting solution to this problem. Because 
You cannot continue like this, so seriously. Of course I can continue like this. Only How? people with strength to spare. Only people with, with, with hope. That has continuity in their dictionary. I don't. I am tired. The money I invested in that business was all I had. I don't understand. I thought you were a cook. You were the chef of Blossom Nitri some years ago. So what changed? What happened? You know, after the government demolished the building, my everything about chef, you know, cooking, I just lost interest. But I think now is the best time to pick up that career again. Hi. Listen, precious. I don't want to waste your time. Uh -uh. Please. I know it's small. Just manage. You are paying me for the service I rendered. Have you forgotten you did not say anything? Uh, wait. Take this. Eh? You can use it to buy medications for your brother. Eh? You need it. Just take. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh? Precious, thank you. It's okay. Oh. I, I, I'm stuck now. You're me now. Precious, you don't want this. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody has ever shown me this kind of problem in your It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, my God. Come, come, come. Oh, my God. This I have been waiting for you for hours now. I know you. you around this neighborhood. Hmm? What was it? My name is Rose. Rose. Wow, Rose. <laughs> yeah. Rose, come on, sit down. Hmm? Sit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you look so beautiful. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I call you my flower? <laughs> Yes, of course you can. Can I also call you my Zadi? Mm. <laughs> Sweet name. Yes, you are free to call me any name you want. Eh? <laughs> you know you look so beautiful. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But I hope you can take proper care of me. Because I'm quite expensive. <laughs> that is not an issue at all. Hmm? You will know the reason why they call me Holy Zewerego. <laughs> <laughs> After spoiling you today, hmm? Do you know what? Come, <clears throat> let's hop inside my car. Hmm? Okay. So let me go and spoil you a little, just a little. <laughs> Can we go? Yes, of course. Only say your late father's brother is the reason we are passing through this suffering. How? I, I don't understand. Everything Olisa has belongs to your late father. How? I don't seem to understand. After the death of your father, you are still late. And I was heavenly pregnant with uh, Collins. Your late father's younger brother, Lisa, connived with the evil elders of your kinsmen and claimed that everything your father has will be inherited by his only surviving brother. Instead of his children. But I don't understand. That is not the custom and tradition. 
The custom and tradition states that after the death of a man, his children inherit the properties, his male children. My father had a male child, me, and Collins. <laughs> Mama, you know all these things, and you, so you let him win? Huh? I didn't just let him win. Because like I said, I was heavily pregnant. I was so weak to fight. So I let him add his way. Thinking that one day he might um, use part of the world to assist his brother's family. But little did I know that he's the devil himself. Mama, you hid, you hid all these things from us all this while. You, you didn't say anything. Why? Because I thought you would be angry over my weakness. And also, I, I didn't want you to fight him. I didn't want to lose, I don't want to lose any of my children. I know him too well. Only so I can go any length to make sure that that world will remain with him. I am very sure that one day he will reap the fruit of all this is evil labor. He has harvested termite infested firewood and he should await the visit of the lizard. Exactly. Oh, God. to the kitchen and take Gary or find something to snack on. Mom, I don't want to eat snacks. How long will I continue eating junks in this house? So you expect me to go into the kitchen and cook for you, right? But what is Kimberly doing in this house? What is her job? Hmm. You have a point there. Mm -hmm. Kimberly! 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 Huh? I was calling you and you had to answer with a note to me. Hmm? I, I will shut up. I will really shut up. My daughter is very hungry. Go into the kitchen and prepare her something to eat. Henceforth, you will play the role of a chef and maid until I get another chef. And if you are good at it, if you are effective, you will make that way. Yes. So, Kimberly, I want fried rice and pepper chicken. Mom, am I speaking your mind? Of course, baby, you are. Now get going. And be fast with it. It's slow poison. Well, Mom. But so selfish. How can you be eating alone and your daughter is very hungry? Mm. The level of hunger you have, you will finish the whole apple in this house. So if I'm not around, hunger will kill you, eh? No, that's why I have a mother. Really? Mm. Okay. Mom, please. Frederick. Frederick, what's wrong? Precious. My brother thinks he's a burden to us. Your brother thinks that? Is it that you gave him a reason to think so? I didn't give him any reason to think so. In as much as his condition is just like, it's just like salt on a wound, but it's a family problem. We all will carry it as family. It sickens all of us, but do we have much of a choice? We don't. That's true. He blames himself. Collins shouldn't blame himself. Because no one decides what he brings to this life, how he comes to this life. Exactly. And if I was given a chance to choose a brother, I would choose him a million times over. It's okay. It's fine. Oh? It's okay. 
is business. Fine, no. Just for a matter, man. Now see the baby. So, how is my mom? Mama is fine. She's sleeping in the sick. Hello? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, this means a lot to me. Sir, this is the best news I heard today. Yes, sir, sir, I'll be there. I'll be there. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, sir, sir, that's not a problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mama. What happened? Thank you, Jesus. Mama. What is it? Hey, God, thank you. Thank you, Mogile. You know that online job I told you I applied? Yes. Mm -hmm. An agent just called me for an interview scheduled for tomorrow, 9 a.m. Ah, yes. Hey, this is good news. <laughs> and believe me, the Lord who started this miracle will do it to the end. Amen. He will give you that job. Amen. God will Hi. give it to you. Amen. Me. Amen. Amen. Hey. It calls for celebration. It really calls for. Hey. Are you going to leave us? It depends on the preference of his employer. Actually, the agent told me that I'll be leaving with my employer. Peradventure, I get the job. It's better. It's really better. Mm -hmm. Call it's it's better. better. You don't look cheerful. What is it? It's because I don't want you to go. Call it. Listen. Do you prefer me staying home while we feed from hand to mouth? Or do you prefer me going out to work so I bring back home a better life? What do you prefer? I prefer you to go. But I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too. God. Hi. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be coming and checking up on you guys from time to time. You will. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, this calls for a celebration because I know I've gotten this job already. You will. <laughs> Thank you so much, Baba. Okay, hey. that means you have to bribe me. Bribe you for what? Sorry. Maybe mm, you buy me a suya. You know that man that is Okay, you eat my here. food. You eat my food. No, no I'm not eating. You eat my food. I want suya. There's meat on top now. You use it as a suya. <laughs> Show, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're welcome. Can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Frederick. Frederick Dickey. That name sounds really familiar. It's okay. So, do you have any work experience? Actually, I do. I have worked for Blossom Eatery for six years as their head chef before the building was demolished by the government. Sorry about that. But well, this is good news for me. Um, I don't listen to you, meaning you can cook local and intercontinental dishes, right? Yes, ma'am, of course I can. That's good. Mom, yeah? This place is very dusty. Kimberly! Kimberly! Yes! place so dusty, eh? Why didn't you clean up this place? Uh, are you mad? How dare you talk when I'm still talking? Now go inside, get a bucket and a mop, whatever, just do the needful. Leave! Mom, did you, did you just see that? Sorry about that. This maid of mine is just a dummy. And you have to correct her with an iron fist. So sorry about that. Um, I think I like you already. What do you think? I like him too. 
It's okay, you're welcome to my house. So, this way you go in. That silly maid of mine will show you around. She will show you the kitchen where the utensils and the condiments are. I need to see what you can do. Of course, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yep. Yes, yes, ma'am. I think he should make um, a Chinese dish tonight. Chinese? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. The last time we went to have a Chinese dish, I paused for almost a week. Oh. So, madam, I'll pass. You can do another thing, or rice soup, bitter leaf, anything. Vegetable is better. What is Chinese food? Please. I like our local delicacy better. It makes you fresh. <laughs> we don't even talk about bitter leaf. Oh, I know you don't like it. <laughs> what is it now? Why are you dragging me like that? Do you want to enjoy me? So you've been lying to us. About what exactly? About what exactly? Are you seriously asking me that? I met you, I asked you if you knew about any vacancy. Little did I know that you had a vacancy in your apartment, but you didn't tell me though. Is that how you hate me? It's because I don't want you and Mama to know that I've been lying about everything all along. To think that you have been lying about every single thing. So you've been suffering and smiling. What were you expecting me to do? Were you expecting I run back home to Mama and be an extra burden to her? I can't do that. Never doubt the feelings of her mother. Mama had the feeling she told me that you were not happy the place you were. I thought you were suffering, but I, I never believed her. Why didn't you tell me? You would have said something. You would have, you would have confided in me. I would have said something. The problems we're faced with right now is enough. I cannot come and be adding extra to it. Besides, I'm an adult. I can take care of myself and I'm fine. You does not look to me that you are taking care of yourself. Do you know how you look? So, all this... My mother is taking good care of me, my, my, my sister is taking me on a vacation and all that. So everything was false. Do you even go to school? I... I dropped out of school. That woman, that woman and her daughter are wicked. They are evil. Listen, Kimberly, we are leaving this house this minute. Leaving? Yes. So where? Now tell me, where are we going to? Look, all the pains, all the trauma, everything I endured is because of Mama. And if you want to give her a better life, you have to endure all those things too. Mm -hmm. And look, the day you will let them know I'm your sister, you are fired. Because they will not hesitate to sack you. I can tolerate every other thing. But I am not assuring you that I would keep calm. If she dare lay her filthy hands on you again, just as she did a few minutes ago. Fact I want to tell you. Hmm? As long as you live in this house, you will tolerate everything and do every single thing. Do you understand me? The only thing is you're not going to cry blood, even if you cry. Look, I'm done here. I was doing something before you called me. You're done. Hello, Mama. How are you doing? How was your first day at work? My first day at work is fine. How are you? How is Colin? We are fine, no. Colin has been bothering me to call you ever since. Oh. Hope he's fine. Hello, brother. How are you? Oh, Collins. Collins, I'm fine. I'm doing well. How are you? Hope you're, hope you're good. Yes, brother. Please, give my mother phone. Mama, if I tell you what I discovered at my place of work today, you would never agree. All the glitters are not good. Ah. What is it? What did I do? Mama, 
Mama, what I meant by all that glitters or no gold is that um, my salary, I was expecting a fat salary, but they, they said they will pay me 50000 per month. Wow, that's not bad. 50000 naira is a big money. Please, go back to work so that your employer don't start looking. All right, Mama, please take care of yourself and take care of Collins too. Thank you, Mama. Take care. What? Why are you trying to tell Mama? Why are you trying to blow her cover? What's wrong with you? If you don't even want to spoil things for me, this house, just fly away. I don't want to see you the next day. A clear conscience does not fear accusation. You have been fooling me since I came to this house. What is it? Are you saying I'm, I'm, I don't have, I don't understand? Are you an entering spirit? I am not. What Let is it? Let me tell you something. Today you will tell Mama that me and you work in the same place. I will kill you. You don't know me for now in this place. And again, tell Mama, don't work together. You stay in a different building. It's just the same street. Did you hear me? I don't know you. You don't know me. That's what you tell so me. So you're not denying me now. I'm not your brother again. That one is your business. Come My life. I want to use your phone and do There was something I was trying to check. Okay, it's my phone. Mm. Okay. Ah! Mama call, I'll give you the phone. So I'll be there when you're making the call. Do you see how uneasy you are because of lies? You cannot just see the truth and be free. Give my phone. I noticed some discreet movement between the both of you. That's not supposed to be my problem because I know that birds of the same poverty infested feathers flock together. But I do not want any unwanted pregnancy in my house, thereby resulting to any bastard. I'm so sorry, Mary, if that's how you feel, but there is nothing synonymous to that happening between the both of us. You know I'm new around the house. She's just assisting me to show me around the house. That's all. Yes, ma'am. I see. I hope you know it's too early to be lying in my house. And did she tell you that I don't like lies? I told you, you that. Yes. You. Yes. 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 She told me. Mm. That's good. You. Go into my room. There are dirty clothes in the laundry basket. Take them to the washroom and hand wash them. But th there's lights. I said, hand wash them. Do not own my machine. Okay. Get out. Are you still standing there? And you, do we still have french fries in the fridge? Yes ma'am, we do. Mm, okay, I would like to have some french fries, maybe with um, some sausage and um, scrambled eggs. Understand? Why are you so wicked? You treating somebody else's child while pampering yours to stupor. This girl standing right in front of you is smart. She's well trained. She's strong, and most of all, she's beautiful. Something that you and your daughter together can never amount to. Ah! Somebody wake me up. Somebody wake me up from this nightmare. Somebody wake me up. So now my slaves have, they've ganged up against me, right? No, ma. Really? 
You. I can see you're beginning to overfeed yourself in my house. Now, starting from today, you will only cook and serve. You will not touch any of my meal. Because by the time hunger deals with you, your brain will go back to factory setting. Listen to me. Pray hard. Pray that I will not find a replacement because if I do, you will be out of my heart with a snap of finger. Idiot! And as for you, Ma, we are sorry. What is wrong with you? Why would you do something like that? Eh? I know you are here to spoil things for me, but at least you just calm yourself down. I am not here to spoil things for you. Things were already spoiled even before I came here. Oh, please. Please, just hold yourself. Kimberly. Kimberly. Girl, I've just been indoors. That's all. Um, really like, we don't go to a party, clothes shopping, or even clubbing. Like, or have the date of your father so you don't need to be a good girl. No. Because I have always known you are really a bad girl. Of course, I am still that bad bitch, you know. It's just that I'm actually lame. For now, so that tongues won't work. They'll start saying after the death of my father, I've already started flexing around town as though I didn't feel the departure of my father. Does it matter? Eh? Does it matter whether you continue being the bad bitch or not? Tongue must still wag. Eh? Besides, you are not when you're not talked about. Mm. Eh? We remain relevant when our name still remains in their lips. Ah, I know of all people should know that now. <laughs> That's true. And uh, do you know why I love you so much? Why? Because you 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 have this way of saying these sweet words to me. Mm -hmm. So where are we going tonight? Um, we are going to club so we can show them what our mom is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. Okay, so um, you're going to follow me to my room, huh? Sure. So you show me the perfect dress I'm going to wear. It's all pleasure. We have to look up. Okay. And we're going to show these boys what we have. I said, who broke the glass while this are in my room? I... 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 I'm sorry, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, I didn't... It's, it's not intentional. So you actually broke it and you were waiting for me to ask you. No, ma. Really? You broke a glass wire that, is, that can buy your generation yet of born. I'm talking to you! Sorry, ma. It was a mistake. What mistake are you talking about? Mistake, you say? I'm asking you a question! She didn't break it. She didn't break it, I did. What the f... This is a super story. Fantastic. You broke the glass wire design in my room and you were actually waiting for me to come and prostrate to you before you tell me you did. I'm asking you a question. But I... It's actually not my fault. I, I, it was when I... Hold I on, went, hold on. You are a chef. What were you doing in my bedroom? Uh, yeah, no, yes, yes, it was when I, I went to the plates. Plate. What, what, plate. what plate? Which year? Room. You, when you, your you plate. are stupid! Because you're beginning to run your mouth. You're trying to defend yourself. Only few weeks I employed you here, you want to turn my whole house upside down. The next thing you will burn my kitchen. Get on your knees. You know, I'm in a very good mood today, so I don't want to, I don't just want to stress myself. So when I say something, just do it. I said kneel down. Mommy, don't make me shout. 
you him. You will go outside that way. You will raise your hands. Open your mouth until I ask you to come. Now get going. Ma. You kneel as well. Ma. Kneel down. Out. Do not waste my time because by the time I open my eyes, you will not like what will befall you. Get this useless idiot from Why did you do that for me? Because I'm your elder brother, and it's my duty to protect you. Just like a hen protects its chicks from hawks like her. Listen, I will stop at nothing until, until I blind that hawk so it does not come for you anymore. It's not fair. It's not fair what you did to yourself. Why did I ever choose to, to deserve such an amazing brother like you? This is a phase. And just like every other phase, it will pass by. If Papa was alive, we would be suffering like this. It's fine. I'm not going inside. I will stay here. Do you need to go inside? What if, if she start looking for you? I'm not going. Listen, Kimberly, you need to go inside. Leave me alone. Listen, Kimberly, you need to go in. Please, I'm fine. She's calling me. She's calling you. Ma! Uncle Lisa have been the reason for all our predicaments. Uncle Lisa? Yes. How? Everything he owns belongs to our late father. I don't understand. Mama told me that after the demise of our father, Uncle Lisa bribed some corrupt elders that claimed that after the death of a man, his only surviving brother inherits all his properties. It's a lie. I'm telling you, Mama personally told me herself. Are you sure of what you're saying? I am sure. I wonder because when I ask Mama if Papa didn't leave any landed properties for us, she always says that he donated it to charity. <laughs> that has been the lie that Mama has been feeding us all these years. Just because she didn't want us to go fighting on Kulisa, and thereby causing more problems. <sighs> That man is very wicked. He is heartless. I mean, so all the cars, the, the house, everything is for my father. Our father. And he couldn't even pity your seeing all the condition that we've been going through. Everything. You see all that wealth. It won't be for too long in his hands. I don't understand. What do you mean? I got a private attorney online. And we scheduled a meeting tomorrow by 10 a.m. I don't understand. How are you going to pay him the money? He have agreed to plead my case for free. I would make sure that I collect every dime, everything that he stole from my late father. And I will stop at nothing until I collect every single one of it. Let's just pray it works first. Pray soon too. Pray soon. Um, Frederick. Sir. I heard all you said. But, do you have a document to that effect? No, sir. No, sir. I don't have any document as defense. The only thing I have is what my, my mother told me as defense. That's the only thing. I don't have any original documents. Um, Frederick. I, I am so sorry. We lawyers believe what we see, 
with our eyes and not what we hear with our ears. <sighs> Sir, please. Sir, please, you need to do something. Anything. Because the man in question is just gallivanting around town with, with my father's property while his family are suffering. Sir, please, it took me too much. All the whole DMs have been sending you on Instagram to, to, to schedule a meeting for, for us to meet today. Sir, please, you can't just leave me like that. You need to help me, Biko. Sir, please. Um, I'm sorry. Without evidence, there is nothing I can do. What do you look like someone, someone I have met before? Sir, if you've met with pain, anguish and sorrow, then of course you've met with me. Because I am, I am exactly the replica of all those things. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. I should be on my way now. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, please have your seat while I call her. All right, thank you so much. All right. Mary. Oh, Mary is my darling. How are you? Oh, fine. Wow, you're so beautiful. You didn't tell me you were coming. I'm sorry, because something came out. What a pleasure and surprise. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Wow, so I really missed you. Miss you. <laughs> so tell me, what do I offer you? Well, anything soft. Okay. Kimberly! Kimberly! Yes? <laughs> now, go get something soft for my baby. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you. And why are you looking at her waist like that? Come on, baby, what do you mean by that? I just saw you looking at her. No, that is not true. Hey, just pull up to, to, to make up with your food. Wow, it's nice. Thank you so much. Ah. Mommy. Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Never, you never told me you have a beautiful mother. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you didn't tell me your friend was coming over. Okay, honey. <laughs> My boyfriend does not do older women. And there's something called privacy. Privacy? Privacy. 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 You can deal with the word privacy, but right now it does not exist in my dictionary. So, Maury, see, Sorry. let's talk. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Wow, you didn't tell me your friend looks this good. You're welcome to my house. Why are you taking this? Why did you serve him this? Well, because, you know, I'm an easy going person. <laughs> <laughs> not to worry, we'll have a glass of whiskey together. Um, Kimberly! Thank you. Ma! Please come, please come, please come, please come. Oh, <laughs> oh so you said to visit us today? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mother was being kind woman. Uh, no, she's not home. Ma, uh, please get me um, um, a bottle of um, Glivelish and a glass so I can share with our guest. Uh, okay, two glasses. One glass, that's already there. Okay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you have a wonderful home. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. I hope you'll be coming more often. I've heard a lot about you, but I've not seen you. You're so beautiful. Are you from this? <laughs> Well, somebody's flattering me. It shows you have a sugar cotton loose. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. I just have to admonish your mom because she's beautiful. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Your friend had this taste. Yes, it does. <laughs> it really does. So at this moment, it's two hours already that we're talking, hours and hours and hours, you know. And you, you are looking from there. <laughs> Wow! Oh my goodness! I want to be having this your friend over all the time. I'm telling you. Take it, take it, take it. You see? You see what I'm saying? I mean that your mother, she must be a good woman. You're telling me she's not. Oh. 
Your husband, and who is your husband? You don't know my husband. Okay. Olisa. Olisa is my husband. Olisa. Olisa is a husband. Mm -hmm. Olisa, your husband has been the one coming after me. In oh. fact, he calls me his flower seed. So deal with it. Uh, oh my god. Do you know what they call acid? What? <laughs> That's exactly what I'll call you. Combined with hot water. Hmm. If I ever see you anywhere around my husband, of course, all these village girls cannot take their eyes off rich city men like my husband. Hey. Hmm. Rich city men. Your husband is a humanizer. So deal with it. Oh. Wow. Jesse. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Um, my name is Barista Donald from Area 12, Lake, Lagos State. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what has Barista has to do in my, my, my house? Have you gone to arrest me? Mother. On the contrary, barristers do not arrest. Okay, uh, welcome. So, why are you here? Um, please, madam. Am I in, in late Mazu or Kuros compound? Yes. Yeah. Do you have. Um, any song called Frederick Dike? No, I don't have any son. No. I only have one daughter as a child, and she's residing in the city. I don't have any son. Are you sure? Ah, yes, I'm sure. Okay, if that's the case. I'm in the wrong house. Yeah, because there are too many Okoros in this uh, village. And there are other Okoros. This is not only Okoro in this village. It's okay, madam. I'm sorry. Hmm? It's okay. I'll take my leave. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, Frederick. Frederick, listen. A, a, a certain barrister came to our compound now. He had just left from uh, uh, Lagos. He's asking me if I have a son uh, uh, by the name Frederick. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean, did you commit anything against your employer that warrants your, your, your arrest? Mama, did he tell you anything else? No, he was just asking about, about about you, and I just denied that I don't have a son. Of course not. I have only a, a, a daughter. What did you tell him? Daughter is residing in the city. That's just it. Good mom, mama, let the joy remain so. Hey, Frederick, you have to be very careful, lo. You have to be very careful, please. Nekwemo, biko, biko, please. Bye, please. I need to go. my car key 
on this table. But I don't seem to find it. Where is it? Yes, but um, Lauren drove out of the compound with her boyfriend. The boots drove out of the compound driving the car. Huh? Yes, ma'am. I don't understand. Lauren drove out with my car and with her boyfriend in it. Was oh, she... she what, the gatesman allowed her to drive out with my car knowing where that I'm going out with it? Yes, ma'am. I saw them driving out. So Musa opened the gate for them to drive it. Now she gave me your note to give you. This is serious. Say see you next weekend. I don't understand what is going on in this house. You see, see, go out there. Tell that good man I don't want to see him in my premises. Tell him to get the hell out of my house. Okay, I should tell Musa to go. Tell him to go. He sat. Yes. Okay, ma'am. And that's what they call me. Ah. Olisa Werego. Olisa! <laughs> hey! You! Olisa! What are you doing with this woman again? Eh? Tell me! I can see that you don't have respect. <laughs> yeah? Just look at the way you are calling me by my name. Olisa. Olisa. Uh -huh. Yeah? Is that not your name? Abra Afa again? That's not even the point. What are you doing with her? Olisa, mm -hmm. who is she? I don't know how. I can see you are trying to pretend. But in case you've forgotten, this is my husband, your husband's snatcher. Look at you. I've warned you to stay away from my husband. But it seems you don't want to hear until I unleash. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you something. You know I am a proper traditional Igbo man. Mm -hmm. And I am entitled as many wives as I can marry. Eh. Yes. Until I deal with you. If I don't see you, huh? sir, I want yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. If I see anyone around my husband, I'll make sure you do what? Get out. Flower move. Leave my husband alone. Flower move. Come now. Flower move. Are these what you have got? You must be ashamed of yourself. Are these what you have got? You must be ashamed of yourself, Olisa. Ever since we came to this village, you've just been jumping from one woman to another. So we have to go back home. Go back where? Yes. If you want to go back, you go back alone. And let me tell you. I am a proper traditional Igbo man and I am entitled as many wives as I can marry. What are you saying, Olisa? You have to put this your manhood beneath your trousers. I'm on a fuck of phone, Olisa. What is your problem? How, tell me, how many women do I supposed to fight because of you? I try to look good all, all for you, look sexy for you, but no, your eyes are still outside. What is it, Olisa? Now, let me tell you something. Hmm? Have you seen the way you embarrass my flower? Eh? If she doesn't forgive me, I will not forgive you. Hmm. Listen, just listen to me. Listen to me. In short, eh? I will throw you out from the house. Mm. Yes, I will throw you out. You dare not. Idiot. Throw us back for you, son. Alisa, what I do is not good. This is not fair. Mm. It's not good, Alisa. It's yeah, not fair. It's not fair. It is black. Okay. You meet me in the house. I will meet in the house. I will deal with you. You meet me in the house. What will happen? Uh, okay. What will happen? Come home and meet me first. Come home and meet me first. I don't even know how I ended up with you. Useless man. Shameless man. What is it, Olisa? Is it until your wife begs me to see Is that where you will leave me alone? Flower more. Flower more. Listen here. Nobody can, can spoil your beauty for me. Eh? Listen, let me tell you something. Eh? I, I want to divorce that woman. But she's still forcing me to be in the marriage. Eh? Olisa, why did you not tell me you were married to that woman? Eh. Uh, I am married, hmm? but immediately she signs the divorce papers. Eh? I will never be married to that woman again. Flower, man. Flower, man. You, 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 you know I love you. Eh? You know I love you so much. I, I, I don't like the way you, you find your face. Eh? Just look at the way you're keeping your face. Eh? 
Orisa. I'm angry with you. Uh, I, I know. Hmm? I know. Just hold up. Have you forgiven me now? You first, I wasn't even angry with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you know what? Hmm? You will up inside the car. Okay. Let me take you somewhere and spoil you a little bit. How do you say that? Oh. It's worrisome. Hmm. I don't seem to understand the fact that a mother is having an affair with her daughter's boyfriend. Like, who does that? Eh? Miss Claudia does. Yes! I mean, this is not the first time something like this has happened. It's not. The last time um, she did something like this, her daughter caught her. The girl was so sad. She was devastated. But you know, you can't be angry with your mother for too long. Eventually, she forgave her. You know, eh? I don't know why good men end up with the worst of women. I swear. Because Leeds Uncle Badmos was a very good man. Very good man. He eh? does not deserve that Jezebel that he go married to as a wife. Did Leeds see all these signs before getting married to her? The signs. He didn't just see the signs. He saw it before his own eyes. He saw it. Yes. How? He caught her on his bed with another man. His matrimonial bed, though. She does not have shame. Mm-hmm. And what did he do? Um, well, he just um, asked her out of his house, sent her back to her father's house. But later, he called her, said crying, said begging, like, please, she should come back. He can't stay without her. He's too much in love with her. It engineered her mura. That's so perfect. I'm just imagining what both of them are doing in the bedroom. Don't you be imagining? They're shooting a movie. <laughs> they're shooting a movie. No, they are, I think, no, they are praying. They should be praying. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Shoot. 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 Cook? I'm here. Hi, Cook. What are we having for breakfast? Man, who exactly is asking? Did, did Madame send you to me? Does that mean that I can't send you an errand to cook for me? As what exactly? As Madame Sugar Boy or what? What? You must be sacked huh? for saying this. You know, it's, it's a good thing if you write to Madame to sack me. But I'll call Lauren and tell her that you're having an intimate affair with her shameless mother. And of course, you wouldn't want that to happen because you still want to be eating from mother and daughter at the same time. So how about that? Excuse me, I was actually doing something inside Oh my that. God. your brain? Morris, are you high or something? Oh, you even know my name. That is a good start. Can you imagine? Do you know you don't need to patronize yourself? Because I heard your girlfriend calling your name earlier. Wow, I love aggressive girls. Can you imagine? Why don't you just say you love me? P 
people old enough to be your great grandmother. Yes. Do you know you don't have sense? And let me tell you something you don't. Lauren and her mother are users, and once they are done with you, they will throw you away like a soft orange that you are. What? I will stop. Hey, hey, hey! Bring it down. You want to touch me? Well, it's like you don't know me. It's like you don't know me. I will break this thing on your head. I can see you lack manners. Manners, go. I will deal with you. That's what, not just manners. Please get out. Animal. Handsome goat. Nonsense. You know, that's a um, morals of a guy. I don't like him. He's so irritating. And I hate his goat. Do you know this morning I was tempted to punch him on the face? This boy walked up to me asking me, hey, what do we have for breakfast? And you wanted to punch him? Of course now. He was behaving as though he's the one that pays me salaries. Like he's the owner of the house. But wait, oh, hope he didn't do anything silly to you because I'll just kill him. Oh. Well, today when I was doing my house chores, I was busy and then he came and tickled my wrist. Eh? He did what? Tickled my wrist. <laughs> hey! Why are you going to? You want to go and confront him? Yes, now, why would you do that? In front of Madame, you want to confront him. I have always known that you came to this house to spoil things for me. Eh? What is wrong with you? You have anger issues and you need to work on them. Shut up. I am your elder brother. You won't tell me what to do. I've heard you. I, I talked to Madame about me going back to school. Okay. And what did she say? What were you expecting her to say? She said nothing. And then the only thing is, Maurice engineered her not to even allow me to go. Told her he shouldn't, she shouldn't allow me to go. But he's not even, he's not, he's not even my problem. Yet. You already know her. Even if that boy was not in the picture, she would never allow me to go. Do you think she ever wants anything good for anybody other than herself? Don't worry. I see light at the end of this tunnel. One day, just one day. You would go to school, you would graduate, and you would become the nurse that you've always wanted to be. While me, I'll be that famous pilot. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not just allow all these glitches getting to us. Everything will be fine. Amen. I'm hungry. I said I'm hungry. You are which hungry? You are always hungry. I'm not giving you food though. Why? Have you forgotten Madame said I should, I should starve you? I should not give you food. Why would you play with me like that? <laughs> you love food too much. Stop now. Nah. Okay, let's go. Let me go and give you food. Come, let me go and give you food, Jerry. You, you are a glue to you love food. Like the job is stressing you. Ah, Mama, work is not. It's hard. It's no. stressful. Mama, can't you see how I look? I know. Hey. I see it. Oh, eh? woke up. Don't worry. Nothing good comes easy. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Exactly, Mama. You're welcome. So, where's Collins? Eh, he went out not long ago. And he has been asking of you 
when is brother coming to see us? <laughs> when is he coming to visit us? Don't worry, he will soon be back. I am here now. Look at yeah, me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> but I, mean, I miss you so much. I miss you too. <laughs> Look at how big Collins look. How many weeks ago? I'm telling you. Collins, <laughs> Collins, guess what? Mm, what? I bought your favorite. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Collins, come on. Collins, Collins, Collins. <laughs> Why have the heavens secluded us for this kind of torture? Don't we have the right to be happy? Anytime we just want to be happy and have a good time as family, boom, epilepsy seizure. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of the back and forth. The pain is excruciating. I'm tired. Collins doesn't deserve this, this pain he's passing through. He doesn't. He's still a child. Each time I pray for God to transfer the sickness on me so that my son will live his life in peace. Even if I will die with it, that's no problem. Mama, nobody would die. Nobody would die. Mama, it's all my fault. I wouldn't have come here. I wouldn't have even bought a thing for him. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. He has been passing through this ever since child. Even this week, he has had the attack multiple times because we didn't have money for feeding. We don't have money. No money to buy his medicine. Nothing. That's why the thing keeps increasing. Mama, you have been having multiple seizures and you didn't say what. You didn't tell me. You didn't even tell my sister. Why should I tell you? We just started work. Three weeks ago. Yeah? You work for one month before your employer will pay you. So I don't have to disturb you over money. Now, do you want to take up front? Yeah. So that's why uh, all these things are happening. I couldn't tell anybody. Mama, Mama I, think, I think it's high time I met Uncle Lisa. I think I will meet him and ask him for financial help. We don't have much of a choice now. We've exhausted all our chances. I don't think that's a good idea. It's not a good idea. I know you. Mama, at this point, we don't have much of a choice. Please. I need to go and meet him and ask him for financial help. Please. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, what's up with me? How are you? Good, good, good. Hope you, you received the money I sent to you. Oh, come on, just a token. Well, what did you do for me last night? Whitney, Whitney, come on. I should be the one thanking you, not you. Uh huh. All right, do you know what? Um, just give me some few minutes. I will call you back later. All right. Uh -huh. Frederick. This one that you said that um, <clears throat> you want to see me, I hope all is well. Uncle, all is not well. My brother Collins have been having recurrent seizures. It's a bad sign. It's a red flag. Please. Wait, just wait a minute. I don't understand. What is seizures? I mean, he has been having a series of epileptic attack. Oh. Well, I think I've warned you and your mother that I don't look like a doctor that treats leprosy or, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, epilepsy. 
Why is that you and your brother cannot leave me alone? Uncle, that is because you have the financial strength to help us. The reason why he has been having these attacks is that he has not been feeding well or religiously taking his medications. You are our only hope. Please, Uncle, you need to help us. Frederick. Uncle. Frederick. Uncle. Now let me warn you. Number one is I don't have money. And number two, let this be the first and the last time you and that your useless mother will come here to disturb me regarding money. Okay? Now get out. Uncle, everything you own belongs to my late father. Why do you hate my family so much? I swear on this day that as long as you step your feet on this ground called Earth, I will strip you of everything you have. I will collect everything that rightfully belongs to my father and leave you with nothing. Frederick, out. Now, how did he go? Mama. <sighs> so, how did he go? Mama, he said he didn't have any money. That man is so wicked. Well, notwithstanding, I'm a mother. My duty is to keep my children out of danger. And that's just what I will do. I, I don't understand, Mama. What do you want to do? Don't worry. I will see what I can do. Mama, I don't understand. What exactly do you want to do? Mama, I need to go in. Let me see how Collins is doing and also take my bag from there and go back to the city. Okay, you need to go back because uh, you will go to work tomorrow. Mama, please take care of yourself and call it. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry yourself, we don't have to worry. Everything is alright, we are okay. Just go there, concentrate on your work, oh? Alright, Mama. Thank you, Amy. Look at you now, you're not looking bad though. Be very stressed, monkey. You stress as you did like this. It has been long, guys. So you did you travel? My dear, I traveled though. You know yeah. that online job I I've always told you that I've been applying. Online? In my phone now. Online job. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I remember. Exactly. Hey. They called me for an interview. I went for the interview and boom. They gave me the job. They employ you. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, no will employ you now? You know you can cook very well. <laughs> After they have tested your delicacies. They employed you. How is it going now? They work in the city. No wonder! Who the Zuzu? You know, she's city, city, city. city. <laughs> I have been wondering. Eh? Eh? Hey! Very stress, one kid. Stress? What about me that is staying in the village now? Me, where so far won't finish for you. The house is so big. The house is fine. My brother, you are lucky. But your face is. Ah, you are not happy. What is it? How will I be happy? Precious, pain has made me not see any good thing in anything at all. My brother had another epilepsy seizure. Another one? Yes, ah, what happened? What triggered it this time? I bought chocolate for him and boom, the epilepsy seizure started. The thing does not hey. even want him to express happiness. Hey, now wow. Well, I'm glad you got a job now. Now you can be seeing money to buy medications for you. At least, my dear, they say they'll be paying me 50,000 per month. It's not that much, but I've managed. I've brought that. Eh? Oh, no, they smell city, 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 city. This city, city, they want me. Abi? What is it? What's <laughs> up? Please come on, I need to, I need to get going so I don't arrive late. 
Okay, I'm going to go now, actually. I'm going to give money for chat out. Ah, ah, city boy, they enter along. Enter me, you pay me well. You know what I'm saying? A big boy, now you pay me well. I do. They want me. They want me. Recurrent seizures. But that means epilepsy is getting worse. I mean, why would Mama hide something that important from us? That was because she didn't want to be an extra burden to us. She knows they've not paid me salary and she called you this evening and you told her that, that you didn't have any money. It's not fair. It's not fair that I can't do anything to help my sick and dying brother. It's not fair. They just want to go home. Going home is not an option. We've come this far to back down. Listen, you need to be strong. It is hard for you as it is for me, but we don't have an option. I just pray that, that they pay my salary immediately the month ends so I can send it to Mama for Collins' upkeep. Exactly. I haven't met Uncle Lisa. I asked him for money and he told me he didn't have money. But he has money to spend and give it to all these village women. Like, were you thinking when you went there? How could you go and meet him? He's out of option. But I didn't have an option. Oh God, you already know that God has punished that man and you went to meet him. Do you have an option? Why are you cooking something? I, I, I put something. I put something. You're cooking something. Mama, good afternoon, Mama. Mama, where are you going? And uh, what is that in the lion? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I want to go to the market and sell uh, pancane. Mama, the shape of that thing in the lion doesn't look close to pancane. Do you know you're not good in lying? So why are you lying to me, Mama? What is in that lion? Uh, well, uh, these are my wrappers. I want to go to the market and sell them. Uh, yes. Uh, let me see if I can make some money for your medication and uh, our our feeding. But Mama, you know this wrapper I gave from Papa to you. It's not proper for you to sell them. Collins, I am not concerned about what is proper now. Please. All I am concerned is your welfare. Your health, your life, that's just it. So allow me to go. Okay, Mama, you know I love you so much. Thank you so much, Mama. I love you too, so much. Love you more, Mama. <laughs> okay, bye, Mama. Thank you. Go well. All right. News has it that Olis has been frequenting that compound. Yes. From how you describe her to be, I think that's an old woman. And I'm sure your husband doesn't do old women. My dear, what Olisa cannot do does not exist. I don't trust that man. Don't. Do you even know that she saw me the other day? And what does she say? She was like, she took some of her cheap, dirty wrappers to the market to sell, but no, she didn't get any buyers, so she was asking me if I want to buy. Look at me now, as if I wear those kind of racks she went to sell. No, now. So, what did you tell her? <laughs> you should trust me. I gave her the insult of her life. I trust you. Oh, well, what wrong did that woman do to you? Why did you insult her? I never thought of that too. That could be true. How, oh, Lisa? That man can never disappoint. Eh? What is this? I just wonder what I got myself into. My dear. Oh, madam, I've not even bothered to call her or to know her whereabouts. She's behaving as though nothing happened. In fact, she's living her best life. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yes, she brought in two hefty, dirty, ugly black men. You see? Yes, so muscular men to the house. And after they finished smoking, drinking, she took them inside. Are you serious? Are you serious? What was that? 
yesterday you know, you know you were not around you went to go and buy something at the room. so before you came back you yeah, go he won't even smile that he said yes hey hey dead time you get to hey i'm just so i'm just wondering what lauren is going through right now should we really be going through it lot? Are you thinking about her? Of course not. I, I am not really in bed with her mother. It's pathetic. Well, I am not. I don't care. If she like, let her be in um, hellfire. If she like, let her drown in the ocean with dirty, stinky water. I don't care. If she like, let her be in uh, what they call it again. I don't care. Wherever she is, I don't care. Her mother is a snake. Yes. And her mother gave her to something I like. Yes, she gave it to her identical to just worse than her. I'm sure she's in one of those her numerous boyfriend's house. Wasting her life. Wasting her life. Her life that is already wasted. I don't care about her. My eyes have really seen a lot since I came to this house. But just as you said, the eyes have not cried yet. I forgot. I've lost her. I will say something at the back. I, now. I wish the heart has hands to write. It will have been in the best position to express how bitter I feel. I wish the heart would cry. I would have been drowned in my own tears. I wish the heart could sing. Mine would have sang me a sorrowful song reminding me of my misery but what can the heart do feels all the pains and bliss all by itself this rain of misfortune falling on my roof will stop at nothing until it sways away the happiness from my family oh how is that you're welcome how are you doing thank you um what do I offer you? Do I get you something to drink or something to eat? That's why right. I'm trying it. Okay. Okay. Well, I am here to tell you that the way will be right tomorrow. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's the best news I have heard in a long while. That's the best news I have heard. Yes. Oh my god. Um, where is that? No, 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 no. What is it? Um, okay. No, you can have a seat. It's okay, Varista, but... Varista, I wanted to tell you, or to remind you that tomorrow while reading the will, Kimberly should not be included. I mean, she's just a maid in this house, and she's still a maid. I'm sure you, you saw her outside, washing. Yes, I did. But why did you turn her into a maid? And your husband ado adopted her. And you know... She is part of the family. Well, the same person that adopted her is dead, buried and gone. It's okay. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. running like that just because you saw a barrister. You know I told you I had an appointment with a barrister the other day. Mm -hmm. That is the same barrister in the studio. I am telling you. The same barrister? Yes. How is that even possible? Huh? No wonder. Mama called me the other day telling me that a lawyer came by the house asking her whether she has a son. Had a son? Yes. Meaning? Meaning that madame is suspecting us. And she has hired the lawyer to investigate the connection between the both of us. I wonder. I know that she has been calling my line all this while, but I refuse to pick. I don't think so. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Because this barrister is a personal lawyer and their friend. Their personal lawyer and friend. Don't everything make more sense now? That's no reason why we need to be careful. Listen, henceforth, I don't know you. You don't know me. Please, we need to be very careful. I don't want issues. Hey, please. Hey, 
Your man is there. Collins! Collins! Mama, I heard your complaint about curls in this morning, but it's finished. So I decided to help you by fetching firewood, Mama. At least we can be managing this until the pay brother Frederick his salary. Oh! My goodness. Hi! Collins, come, 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 come here. Mom, thank you so much. That's very thoughtful of you. But you shouldn't have. You, you know your health condition. Huh? Please, Mama. Don't bother about me, okay? I'm fine. You're fine? Yes, I'm strong. You're fine? Yes, yes my Mama. son, you're strong. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Collins, 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 Collins. Hello? Somebody help me. Collins, 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 Collins. Hey, hey, Collins, Collins. 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 Chimo, Chimo, hey, hey, you said you are fine. You said you are fine. Hey, son, son, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Mama, how is this? Mama, what bring tears to your face? Why are you sad, Mama? What is this? Mama, tell me. Why are you why are you crying? I have done something I think it. I have my reasons. My heart is in place. I did it for my family. But my conscience... My conscience could not let me be. But Mama, what do you mean? Like, what, what happened? What are you talking about, Mama? Tell me. Hey. Will my late husband ever forgive me? For giving out my pride as a woman than another man. God. Mama, what are you talking about now? I don't understand. <laughs> my son, you will not understand. They are still too small to understand. Mama, explain to me. You will not understand. You will not understand. Mama, that's why you are crying. You know I'm always crying when you're sad, Mama. As Mama, you look at me now, I stink. I stink. I am so smelly. Mama. I have done that which is evil. Before God and man. My late husband should forgive me. God, please forgive me. I have given my pride as a woman to another man. Something I swore I can never do in this life. God, please. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Mama, I don't understand what you're saying. Explain to me, Mama. My son, you will not understand. You can never understand this. <laughs> Ha 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 
Hello, where is Kimberly? She's busy with chores inside. Well, I'm so sorry. I can't continue with this meeting if she's not here present. What? We have to stop an important family meeting because of a common maid. It's okay. Don't worry yourself. Kimberly! Kimberly! Ma! I hope you're clear enough to, to sit down on my couch. Well, she's here now. Let's continue. Well, I must take you all for waiting for six months. Today is the, the day. It's okay, get me water to drink, Kimberly. Hey, no, 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 no. Nobody goes out of this meeting until we are done. Did you say so? Uh, 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 Frederick! Frederick! Ma! Ma! Oh, wait, you not to make me shout. Please, I need, I need, I need a glass of water. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I was, I was in the kitchen. I was speaking. Please shut up! Jesus! Sir, please. Sir, beg you. Please. Please don't expose me. I beg you. Frederick. Ezudo. What? Frederick. So what are you talking about? I don't understand. What are you I take exception to that. I can have to do anything to me. Six months, one year, I can stay. But for you to 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 to, to address and attach my husband's name to this riffraff, I will not take that from you. Mother, the son of late Chief Ezudo is here. What? Can someone please explain what is going on here? That because. He is late chief Ezudo's son. What? what? Can someone explain what is going on here? What is going on? Sir, is that why you told me? You told me that I looked familiar. Is that the reason? Even a blind man will notice that you are Ezudo's son. No. This will not happen. This is a conspiracy, Barrister. I have known that from day one. Let me tell you, you will want a DNA test. And in the hospital of my choice, that is when I can agree to the fact that this idiot here is my husband's son. I will not accept this. Never. Yes, I know it will come to this. We will run the DNA test.
I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry about your mom and your brother's unsolving death. You know, every pain that I've bared all these years, the pains that have swept under my heart, toiling from morning till night, I just wanted to give them a better life. A better life that, that my brother and my mother have always prayed for. And now, now that the better life is here, they are not, they are not here to enjoy the wealth with me. How? How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to spend all these things? It's too much for me. I understand. It's all right. No, 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 no. You do not understand. Because you don't know what it means to, to have little of something. And then suddenly you just have everything or everything you've been working hard for. But then, the people you've been working hard for, they are not even there to eat it. Everything is just for waste. Then why did we work hard? Why? The wealth is too much. Even our 10th generation cannot finish it all. Why does God have to punish us this way? What have we done? Why can't we be happy? This, this pain, this pain hurts more than salt on a broken skin. More than the knife stabbed down the heart. I miss my brother and my mother so much. Do you know I met my brother? I told him that does he prefer me staying at home and we feeding from hand to mouth? Or should I go outside, hustle and bring back a better life home? Do you know what he told me? He said I should go out, work hard and bring back a better life home. Now the better life is here. They are not here. They are not here to enjoy the world with us. This is heartbreaking. I'm shattered and broken. <sighs> Don't worry. I pray God will heal your broken hearts. I have finished cleaning your room and I also washed all your clothes. Please, I am very hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. And how is that any of my business? No, tell me, how is it? Please shift from my sight. Shift. And you, Claudia, is my food ready? Yes, ma. It's ready, ma. If I should find out that you tasted from that food, it would break your neck. No, ma, I, I did not taste it. It, won't, it was only when I wanted to put the, the salt and pepper. When you wanted to put salt and pepper? Yes, ma, because you say you don't like pepper, ma. Tasted my food! Who gave you the right to taste my food? Sorry, ma. Kneel down to both of you! Mm. Ma? Now! Please, please, I know you're a good son, but forgive them. Listen, listen, you need to forgive them. To err is human and to forgive is divine. Yes. If you hold grudge, you will end up hurting yourself. Let go of everything you need. You need to forgive them, please. Forgive them. Thank you. Yes. Fine. Fine. Because I will not let myself become that monster the both of you were. I don't like it. I hated that monster the both of you. And I will never be like you. Please, I beg you. Stand up. Yes, stand up. Nice. Thank you, sir. It is obvious to me that the both of you can be living in this apartment. Sir? Yes. Please, sir. Please, sir. I don't have anywhere to go. 
You know I don't have any savings, no, nothing. My my late husband was all I had. Please don't send us away. We will tell you, Fonka. Even if it's just this shelter, it's, it's fine. I am not sending you out to the streets. Uh -huh. I'm sending you out to, to one of my father's many apartments here in Lagos. Uh -huh. Yes. And every month, I will send you monthly allowance. Sir? Yes. So you can save up, start up something small. You can also use that for your daily upkeep. But if I discover that the both of you haven't won a leave, that you still keep up with your quarter characters, I will stop sending money. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Please stand up. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I I I have met my lesson. I will I will not do this. Stop crying. You are safe for me. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. Fedric! Where is it? Fedric! Uh, what is it? <laughs> they are here. The truth is everywhere. What truth? Ah, do you know that my husband, no, my ex-husband, was one that frustrated your mom to the extent that she, she had to go and sleep with a man just to raise money for your late brother's hospital bills. After that, she couldn't contain everything. No, she drugged herself to death. Yes, that's what happened. Wait, are you... <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that your husband is responsible for my mother's death and not, my brother's death? Not just that. Your younger brother couldn't take your mom's death. He had an attack and also died. Mind you, my ex-husband also spiritually engineered the death of your, your, your late father. They are here. I don't even know what is happening. Hmm. You mean your husband caused my father's death? Your husband, yes. He did. Why are you telling me all this? Why won't I tell you? Me, I don't have anything to lose now. He's now a poor village brat. You, your lawyer succeeded in taking everything he took from you. All the cars, the houses, even the one he stole from your father, your late dad, yes. He took everything. So he's not a poor man and I cannot suffer with him. No, I'll never be me. Oh God. Yes. So, you are responsible for my... My late father's death. My mother, my brother. Why? Why did you do all that? Why? Um, um, I am a poor man. Eh? I'm so sorry. Uh, and um, <laughs> I regretted all the things I've, I've done to you and your family. Uh -huh. So, uh, that is why I brought back the khaki. Eh? Back to you, I'm sorry. You go. Look at you. Shameless man. Look at look at what your greed and wickedness has landed you into. Show me what you say. Wait, let me ask you something. Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> eh? Is it not the same money I've been using to feed you? Eh? Uh -huh. The money is gone. It is finished and I cannot suffer with you. Yes. Okay. Mm. Shameless man. Listen, I Ordinarily, I am supposed to get you arrested, but you are already condemned by the soul. Just leave my house, the both of you. Please. I don't want to change my mind. Go. Please. Say she should go. Leave! Shameless man. You can't man. Just go. Just go now. Eh, let's be going. Go. Shameless man. Okay. Poor man. Okay. Poor man. You should be ashamed of yourself. The moment you touch this car key, you will die. Jesus. God. Jesus. Shameless man. You're a 
Why are you broke? Hey! Ah! 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 What is it again? Hey! Ha! Ah! 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 He is not a mad person! Mad man! Mad man! Mother's diary. Jesus. A diary that she does not allow anybody to touch. Dear diary, today being the second of May, twenty twenty-four, I just discovered that Frederick, my son, is the biological son of my employer. Late Chief Badmos Ezudo, who I worked for as a maid, a barrister, came over and told me everything. I connected my daughter to work for him because I knew he was a good man with good intentions. And when he adopted her, it was fulfilling to me. How do I solve this ugly pause now? Why is my path littered with hills and valleys? Why can't I just have a smooth sail through life? But I'm sure that one day everything will be alright. Because if truly Frederick is his son, and all his assets belong to him, then I can finally live a better life, the life I have always wished to have.